there needs to be a light shone on the fact that in this university, in this department, you're not allowed to deviate from department norms. Hey, hey, ho, ho! Cow doesn't deserve to go! Hey, hey, ho, ho! Berkeley math lecturer, Dr. Alexander Coward, stirred up controversy on campus when he released a letter to the public voicing opposition to the math department's termination of his contract. I was the first person to be hired as a lecturer in an international search. And I was very excited to try and bring some of the, the ideas that we know about education to, to bear at Berkeley. And um, unfortunately, unfortunately, that there are a lot of problems. Coward believes that the math department's focus should be as much about educating students as it is about conducting research. There's a very strong argument to get people who, who've got a very strong background in teaching who know what they're doing, who are going, to, and if, if you're a lecturer, you're going to teach a lot more students for a lot less money. And people find that very threatening because they're, they're worried that the people who are t t f whose focus is teaching are going to take over. And there's going to be this v very rapid increase in the number of people who, who are focused on teaching, and then the number of people who are, who are focused on research, research faculty, is going to shrink. Education is the, the thing upon which our success or failure as a planet relies. Right? We've got all of these problems. Where are the solutions to these problems going to come from? And they're going to come from your generation, right? which is the millennials. But if you don't get an education, that potential is not going to, not going to, to be enough. You know, not just for the reason that, that it's essential for, for our future as a society, as a planet, that we get an education. There's also a very strong moral case that if your tuition fees are going up and up and up, and the proportion and of, 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 of a university's budget is going up and up and up, what, what the count, part that counts as tuition coming from student fees, then, then the quality of your education should go up and up and up and up. Now, it's impossible for the quality of your education to increase if you're not allowed to deviate from department norms. His post highlighted problems he saw in the department's approach to undergraduate education. The post was met with widespread student support on social media, even spurring a student organized protest. Professor Coward really does care about every single one of his students. Um, he gave out his personal phone number to all 800 of the kids in his lecture right now um, with the invitation that if any of them have any problems uh, with like math problems or just like having struggles with life that we can reach out to him and call him and he'll help us out. I have personally utilized um, his phone number and called and asked for help with math problems um, when I really felt like I was struggling or couldn't um, you know learn the material and not only did he help me out with the math problems that I was struggling on he actually went on then to you know encourage me to not be like upset by the fact that I wasn't really understanding it or felt like I wasn't really keeping up with the class um, you know and he, it just it really shocked me that he would care about his students that much because I wasn't expecting that at a school this large. He's really such a great man like no other pro professor that I ever had has ever just called me to check up and say hey how are you doing that's something that's very special and inspiring about this man and he even offered to help me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, to get back, uh, to get caught up with all the stuff I missed throughout the last week. So I just wanted to say thank you to him for that and just attest to uh, the type of person he is. You know, like any person, I'm, I'm not a p perfect teacher and I'm not a perfect human being. And I can think of things that I've done in my teaching, certainly, that are not optimal, right? And um, things, that, uh, things that I'm working on. And that's not the point, right? It's not the point, the, the question of how good of a teacher is Alexander Coward and should he stay or should he not stay is a distracting question. The main issue is that there needs to be a very bright light shone into what the mathematics department is doing and has done in regards of teaching particularly these very large classes which prepare people for other majors. People say that sunlight is the best disinfectant and, and I, I think that's true. One time in third grade, uh, we just finished a test, and I was really happy, I, I forget why, um, but I decided to pick up my six-year-old 